It's actually a people podcast of Dan Prigolat. I'm here with Brenna McKenna. Thank you. What was that nod? Sexy people oh, podcast. Just, I'm, a, I'm in agreement with yeah, that. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Thank you for coming to me. Yeah. Well, I and I, truth be told, I fucked this up. I like went <laughs> to another hotel and I was like, no, I'm right. And I set up and it was gorgeous. And then you were like, you're not here. And uh, and thank you for like bearing with my idiocy. My hotel's not that pretty, and it's not that nice. It's it's. <laughs> what's funny is it was this, but the but like the dude was so much. He was like he was like yeah. He was like you want to take stuff out of the lobby, like put it in the room. So I set up this whole set. The dudes were about it. He was great. Yeah, yeah. Um, thank you for doing this. Okay, wait. Yeah. So let's let's do your stats. So okay. you're you're um. What do I want to know? You're how old? You're how tall? And like, where do you work out of? Like my stats and like my body measurements. Sure. And stuff oh, like sure. That. Yeah. If you got all, <laughs> if you got all of them, I have to know. Yeah. Sending them out all the time. Um. So I'm 29. I'm like, probably between five four and five five. Okay. Um. I'm a 32 C or 34 B, 24 waist, 32 booty. Yeah. And. What was age and like where you work out of? I live in Philadelphia now. Okay, nice. Yes, but I'm from South Jersey. Are Since you? Since we're in Jersey, everyone needs to know that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the from o- Vineland. One of the only times you actually want to rep Jersey. Literally. It's so funny. Like yes. I, so I'm a comedian, and when I travel around, like I, like on my bio, like I work out in New York City because I do. I live in Hoboken. Um, yeah. But then I'll go to like Oklahoma City, and they'll be like, like, where do you live? Like, what's like Staten Island? Where's the Bronx? Like, what's the whole thing? And they're like, where do you live? And I'll be like, Hoboken. They're like, that's in fucking New Jersey. Like, even like people in Oklahoma, Albuquerque, New Mexico, they, they know shame Jersey. us for it. Jersey's such a shamed state. They shame us for it. I, there's so many times that I've been like in Miami or something, and people ask where I'm from, and they say sorry. I like that joke that's like, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry you're from Jersey. I'm sorry yeah. you're from Jersey. Yeah. It's like in the public. Like, like sphere that you can just like say that about Jersey. So rude. And then I think we, I think we believe it to some extent. No, I'm fucking proud of it. <laughs> okay, fine. That's why, like, yeah. I say it. Like, I'm not afraid of that. Yeah. Like, it has literally made, it has helped shape. Like, I think a part of us. Sure, absolutely. If you're if you're gritty, you know, and then you're from Jersey yeah. and you have something to prove, right. and like it adds to your fire. Uh, like, see. I'm about that. Yeah. You know, and the fact that like. I've started doing porn and I'm in Philadelphia where there's like nothing around. Yeah. But I'm just resourceful and I can't move yet. Like I bought a house. So like I have to stay. But house in Philly. Shit. Yeah. Very and cool. like, you know, like I'm really proud to like be on the East Coast and like yeah. rep that we can make it yeah. out from inside. Well, and especially, <laughs> yeah, especially like now. I don't know. Like it used to be when I started this thing, it was like you definitely had to be L.A., like Tampa or Vegas. Yes. And then because of like people owning their own stuff and being able to work whenever they want, it's yeah. like you can just fly to Vegas, play, place to Vegas for like $12. You fly to Vegas, you, you work, yes. go to L.A., you work, and then you go home. Yeah. And then you like being able to like get out of the thing and like go home and relax is like part of what keeps people sane. If I lived in L.A., yeah. I can't imagine the wreck I'd become. Right between like working nonstop, I get FOMO just being there for two weeks. Yeah. Like I'd be homesick, but I also don't want to go yeah. because I never know who I'm going to run into, who's going to hit me up the next day. Right. Et cetera. You know, like, so it does feel really good to go back to Philadelphia and then be like, okay, I'll just take my dates for like in three weeks. I yeah. need to breathe. Like I'm going to go to Jersey and see my it's parents so real yeah. quick. Yeah. Like imagine and having then go back out again when I'm ready. Yeah. Imagine having to like, d- just like do, L.A. traffic when there's no excitement, you just have to go do your errands. Right, it'd be awful. Like be like living there, yeah. I wouldn't do. I d- I am planning on moving to Vegas though, yeah. only because I think travel maybe got more expensive. Like flights are really crazy, especially with last minute trips. Yeah, out to the West Coast from here, so it will be cheaper. Sure. I still dance and I'm working my tail off on OnlyFans now, which I've only taken seriously for like maybe the last like six months. Is that right? Yeah. I mean, editing is not really my thing and like a whole vision and just like being like online all the time. Yeah. Like the more content I've become doing porn and being happy, like with the life I'm living, the less I really want to like, be attached to my phone and right. like staring at it and like doing trailers but it does excite me more now that like i have fans you know and they care like it's been a feedback loop really yeah. but you know but it yeah but i but yeah it is it's a totally different like 
space where, because OnlyFans is like all positivity for the most part, because people are in there, they want to be there, they're subscribing, doing the things, right? So like before OnlyFans, like direct contact was like Twitter. Yeah. And that would drive people nuts. Yeah. Like it's just like, because Twitter's all Twitter's negative. Twitter's like free OnlyFans. Twitter's, and Twitter's all negative. Twitter actually is funny enough. Twitter sucks. Twitter, funny enough, s- has has <laughs> better, um, like, like explicit content like, than than only because OnlyFans is like closing the doors every day. Yes. They're like, you can't. You're outside. We got to take this off. The thing. Yes. So Twitter actually is the only one that's like, look, somebody has to hold this stuff. Yeah. So that's kind of fun. Yeah, I like that. But so thank God, like I have those things, you know, and I can make money and like go out. But I spend a lot of money like traveling. Yeah. Every month to well, do and, the trips. And this is the first run where like. Even if you buy a ticket, you don't know if that flight's ever going to take off. Yeah, you don't know if the scene's going to get canceled when you go. Yeah. You, like, yeah, American, like, delays everything. Wow. So, like, and then you get there and the scene could cancel. The, yeah. the girl could cancel. Like, you yeah. know, like, anything could happen. You could, you know, break out in hives. Like, you right. know, you never really right. know. So, it's I like an investment. that's a fetish. Hive porn? Just, like, like sickly, like. That's sick. <laughs> I'm sure <laughs> someone's into Eczema it. Eczema porn? I'm sure someone's Psoriasis into it. Psoriasis porn? Somebody's got to be. Dude, yeah. It's more accessible now, right? Like if your wife or your like, because I think a lot of what dudes, well, this is what I do. I'm not going to speak to all dudes. A lot of what dudes do, me, uh, is like <laughs> I'll try, if I like, if I was in a relationship that didn't work, but the sex was good, I'll try to find my like doppelganger girlfriend in, in the industry okay. so that I'm like, oh, I can fuck her forever. Like that's like my weird sick it, That's what that guys do? You? Me especially, yeah. Okay. I don't know about other people. So like statement. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's just make it about me. So let's say like, let's say like I dated a girl who was like all like psoriasis and like poison ivy. Okay. There's the, there's that chant. Okay. Never mind. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, w- w- whatever makes it work, especially if you're in a relationship well, like that, because it couldn't be me. Yeah. <laughs> well, because but also what, what happens is, um, I think people want to look up and and like jerk off to stuff that they'll never experience, they'll never see. Yes. So. Yeah, maybe me or something they want to relive. Yeah. Maybe they miss an ex girlfriend yeah, who well, used yeah. to flake all you know flake all over <laughs> their bed right, sheets and right, now they're like right. I miss the love of my life. You just you just, just <laughs> pile up like like the dandruff and just like cuddle it. A porn that. is really great for like getting to explore for some sure. stuff. Yeah. You know, like there's some things like I would never have looked at, but then now that I watch porn, I I Twitter scroll. Yeah. Okay, and I'm not even gonna front like I don't get off on Twitter porn. Yeah. Okay, that like. I would never have been into, but if I watch it a couple of times over, I'm like, oh, I fucking get it. And I have developed fetishes from watching like a really good video of that fetish right. that like did it right. Yeah. And I'm like, like I didn't even know I was in it. Wait, this hold shit. up. People love my feet and I get that. Like they're foot people. Yeah. But now I like feet. <laughs> and you're you know, like I love your girl feet. Where are you? Yeah. Both. Like, so, I would worship, you know, a man's foot. Yeah. Like, if I'm into the sex and I'm sucking his dick and I'm, like, kissing his toes yeah. and, like, you know, it's so fucking good and he steps on my head when he's fucking me and doggy. Okay, that's fucking great. Language. But now I like girl feet, too, and mm-hmm. I've loved girls forever. Like, I came out as bisexual when I was, like, 12 or 13. Yeah, girl feet are And I've never crazy. been into girl feet. Yeah, girl feet are crazy. You know what I realized recently, too, is that, like, um, and I'm 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 straight as an arrow and like to my dad, de- like I would like I would like to be slightly bi, especially in like today's like culture. Yeah. 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 And yeah. I'm just just um, be able to do it. Yeah. But I'm straight as an arrow. And, yeah. And um, but like I saw um, I've been interviewing mostly uh, boy boy this year uh, just to kind of like open up. What OK. I'm, what I'm about That's really cool and, like, of see you. Who, see who like like else joins the podcast. Right. That's fucking dope because so you for everyone that leaves people come, yeah. you know, like and you get to attract like people that want to watch your shit. Yeah. Your, your well line also, of thinking. So that's dope. Yeah. And I think the dynamics of who's watching and then who I can maybe bring to my only fans is like if I do the boy boy, then I don't know. So yeah. but what I was going to say. OK, was, tell me. Like I didn't anticipate this being a thing, but um, like I saw uh, like a fit dude in um, what's it called, uh, fishnet, and like so I was like I was like women in fishnet, and the dude in fishnet, I was like, God damn it, fishnet looks good on everybody. Yeah, like if you, it like, really does, it's so good. I didn't know that <laughs> I didn't know that dude fishnet was like a thing, and that sound I guess that sounds a little closed, but I mean, but it, it's it's good. Yeah, I, yeah, <laughs> I'm sure it is. I'm sure sh- I, I like I have love you heard about the dude in fishnet. I no, I haven't, yeah. but I would. Yeah, it's good. I would. Everything looks good at Fishnet. I, I would. Why. Um, and I love gay porn. Okay, preach. I love watching gay porn. On which side? 
boy 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 yeah yes yeah sorry i say gay for guys and lesbian for for the girl Fair. porn yeah but yeah i love watching boy boy porn like that shit's fucking hot whether yeah. it's like no matter the dynamic it could be like two muscle dudes like a daddy and a twink like i don't care yeah well, I, i'll you, get off to it yeah because you love men it's yeah. probably like the more dick but also the fact that i know that they probably are enjoying it a lot too because yeah. You know, like, especially on OnlyFans, like, you're probably not doing it for pay. Like, you're right. probably doing and it because you like it. And that industry's changed a lot. And that's the thing I get to talk about a lot when, when doing the Boy Boy interviews is that, like, there was this whole thing or, like, this rumor or whether it's true or not about, like, people that were doing things on camera. Yeah. Like, that they might not be into. Oh, for sure. And I think the industry has kind of come around where it's like, we want people on camera doing things that they're consenting to, that they're into, yeah. that they're like, that makes them come, and that's yeah. what's hotter for us. Yeah, I mean, if it's hot for them to do gay for pay and get a paycheck and support their families, then by all means, I don't judge. Yeah. But especially like on OnlyFans, you get to pick and choose who you work with. So like that shit's like really, really hot when you see like those trailers for OnlyFans yeah. on Twitter. And like, you can tell that they're into it yeah that they're enjoying it right. that you know i mean unless they also know that it sells and they're doing it for money but yeah. like i'm you know it's really really hot i don't want to call and it's just the more dick the better too probably yeah. but i'm <laughs> right. also bisexual myself yeah. so i you know like i would love to do a, bo a bisexual like boy boy yeah. so you posted you posted post. a, uh, an art like a, a a drawing of dude dude woman oh yes. all anal i don't know yes. what that's called but that sandwich. Yeah, it's the, like the yeah. That sandwich looks amazing. Yeah, it's like a bisect sandwich. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. that's my that's my homegirl Avery Horn. She does all that like the kinky art? fetish art. Yeah. Yeah. So I reposted her art, and yeah, it's just I, that is like a dream come true. Scene. I've seen those things stacked. Yeah. Yes, stacked sta asses. Yeah. I've seen Can you imagine being the middle? Right. I think that's. Imagine the, I think you that's being a bisexual spot. man right in the middle I like that. I think that's the sweet spot. Yeah, that's privilege. Yeah, right you're, get, there. you're getting prostate <laughs> and you're getting and you're penetrating. Yeah, that's, that's the sweet spot. That's fucking well, privilege. And, and like for sure, like that's that's like threesome dude stuff all the way. Yeah, but adding a woman to it, it's 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 just a whole different layer. And I think the industry is opening up to that being like when I first got here, it was like if you were a switch was what they were calling it. There was like uh, yeah. some stigma to it. And it's like okay. people didn't want to work with switch people and all this sort of thing. And like it's only been five years uh -huh. and we've come a long way. And just yeah. even seeing like like progressive changes in an industry that you thought was like all the way there. Yeah. Is good to see. Yeah. No, I love that. So this is this is like convenient for you. I, that's kind of shocking that they would. Uh, I, but you know what? Then again, is it shocking when I. Being bisexual, people judge bisexual people all the time. I think there so I feel like they do have some stigma. But for boys too, yeah. with the with gay performers, I feel like that is true. So there's but so much stuff, right? There's the I patriarchy. There's like don't. It's like the no layers. being gay, like right, like any of that, like like full repression on that, like the uh. fact that if you're and then women play into some of those ideas too, because it's like oh, like I hear women all the time, and we're talking about like. Let's, let's let's take it out of like a progressive place like New York City. Like right, let's right. go to like Syracuse, New York. Right. And like I think a lot of women's fear is that like their husband could be gay. It's like For their sure. worst nightmare. Yeah. And it's like it's not an open minded thing, but it comes from insecurity and fear. It does. And so th all of that stuff plays in. So yeah. it's like women are like, Oh, I would never be with a dude who's been with a dude and the dudes are like, Oh, if you're a bit with a dude, you're gay and it's like that all that stuff is hanging around. You know? Yeah. And that's why it's nice to be in this space. No, yeah, that's for sure. not our thought process. You know, that's really sad because in a marriage, you should be best friends with the person. Yeah, so who even gives a fuck? I don't really. think anybody's that. I really do. I wish it was. I don't think that exists. I, I, I don't think that exists. I believe it exists. I don't think that that exists. It's that it's, I, I think it's it rare. I believe it exists. Yes. I think it's rare. Yeah. Um, yeah. And when like, I see damn, it. Like, damn, would you talk to your best friend like that? Right. Like, I can't believe that you've... You know, fuck with a guy before. Everything you can go talk to your husband like that. Like, oh my god. Yeah, yeah. Um, Sad. What was I gonna say? To you? I was gonna say that. Um, so this this is a good. This is, have you been to Exotica before starting? So I have been to two Miami Exoticas. Okay. I think the previous two like consecutive Exoticas. But I was a hottie. The girls that were the staff, you yeah. know, that like dance around and do the thing. This is pre-porn. No, like since 2020. Okay. Yeah, like OnlyFans yeah. and stuff like that. Then I started going down there. I started nice. up to just work it. Yeah. You know, yeah. And first one. But I haven't been signing or anything like that. Got it. Or like meeting fans. So this yeah. is the first one where I feel like a legit, you know, like Great. porn actress showing up to like see her people. This one right now. Yes. Great. How yes. So how do you feel? It's crazy. Yeah. Um, I feel 
super grateful. I've literally had people be like, I am so and so from Twitter. Like I came oh, like finally to see yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. And I'm just like, like they're real yeah. fucking fans. Like they're not bots that I will never fucking, you know, see. Right. And Is they that the come fear? to me. That like I mean, it's like You know, it's just not tangible all the time. Yeah. So you're putting out this work on the internet. And even though you get feedback, like you don't know if they really love you. Right. And like you compare to other people. So it's like, are they as big of a fan as me? You know, I as see. it seems like, do I really have fans that love my work? Right. Or am I just like, you know, like a pat, you know, just all these things that you think about. Yeah. Like when you want people to really like so appreciate you your work and like, like you. In live <laughs> performance, right? You were a stripper first. Yeah. So that that's much more of a feedback. You know that you're crushing. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like direct money, you know, but like yeah. for things like OnlyFans and scenes and the fact that I'm so distant from the porn world that like my results come like months, you right. know, like I build up my fans and like that's cool. But like over time, but like, you know, I'm not in the scene, right. so I don't get constant reviews and constant like applause on scenes being released. Like I get scenes released every couple months yeah, because of my trips. Right. You know, so it like this is seeing it like in real life yeah. and happening and people coming up and waiting in a line for that's my exciting. Yeah. autograph. Yeah. I'm like, wow, like that's exciting. Six year old. V would be so proud, right, you right, know, right. like, yeah. So you said you came out as bi at 12. Yeah. Like, I told like, open like, thir- like your 13. Family. Yeah, like 13. And then when I got into high school, I had my first girlfriend. Okay. <laughs> when I was 14. Okay. okay. Yeah. Like open to your family, uh-huh, all of this. Great. Uh-huh, yeah. And so in that period of time with your sexuality and all that sort of thing, did yeah. you, um, like, what's the transition for you into becoming a stripper and being sex positive? And like, did you feel like you had to hide any of it? Like, how did you end up here doing OnlyFans, at exotic signing, doing mainstream porn? Like, what was the trajectory? I will legit cry on camera right now Please. because it's so exciting and crazy for me to think of. But um, I never had to hide it. My parents were super cool about it, and they never judged me, and I could come out. Like, I thought they'd be scared, so when I said it and I was crying, and they were crying, but they were like, it's fine. Like, I can't, like, they couldn't believe I was, like, nervous, you know? And um, it was, like, not the easiest thing because, like, little girls that are your friends, they don't understand if you tell them, like, I like girls and I like boys. Like, it is kind of hard a little bit. But when I got into high school, it was very open. I went to a Catholic high school. And I was very open about it, and I just didn't give a fuck. So then when I went to college, and I already knew in high school I wanted to be a stripper. No kidding. Because student loans... (laughs) So I was like, I'm not going to play college sports. I played softball and I got a scholarship to high school to yeah. play softball, but I didn't want to play sports anymore like that. I played my entire life. Yeah. So I was going to college and I didn't want to do it like on a sports scholarship and have to play. So I was like, I'm going to dance because I've always been this sexual like person. Um, and I started going to the club when I was 14 at Club Shampoo. I don't know if you're like familiar with like Philly clubs. No, or no, no. OK, well, yeah, I would go to the club when I was like really young. Fake ID whole thing. No, no. Underage nights, like 14 to 18, oh, oh, like club crazy. Club. Yeah, 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 like yeah. actual clubs or like Kitty Woody's club. has like a gay night for like yeah. college students, yeah. you know. So like I would club. So stripping was just dope for me. And um, I did it for so long and I never thought of doing porn. Yeah. But I just loved dancing that I kept doing it past getting my degree in college. Um I just love the life. Yeah. And then when COVID hit and the clubs closed, right. I started going to Texas to dance. Okay. And like, you know, very strange places. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, Texas is great if you're looking for a pimp. <laughs> okay. You know, like Texas is great, like for like barbecue food. Okay. Right. But it wasn't great for like me trying to learn how to strip during COVID when I need money the most. Yeah. So I was like, man, F this. Like, and it's just like why, unknown was, territory. Yeah. Why was it so, <laughs> uh, what's so different about well, trying to be a stripper during COVID in Texas? Well, going to a new city as a stripper, you have to learn the tricks of that club right you it's have, all like stripper you know, politics like yeah it's stripper politics and like you can't treat people in miami the same as you would interesting somewhere else the, uh, the like the, the demographic the, is the, different the the, the 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 patrons yes i was gonna call them johns i didn't know what else they, <laughs> yeah <laughs> pretty much yeah. <laughs> so the patrons the johns. the johns yeah pretty much you have to treat them different you ha- yeah like because in texas you, you have to schmooze and talk to them more yeah. they're very sweet they care like the yeah. guys like they want to talk to you right i think it might be like southern comfort or whatever right. like you cannot sit down like you would in new york city and be like hey you want to dance no goodbye you right. know like i'll sit on someone's lap and after like a minute 
I'll let them know. Like, like we need to go dance, and it's a three minimum. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like in some places, like you know, and then you don't have regulars. That's the second thing. Right. So like you don't have money right there. So if you have a bad night, or you don't meet a girl that you can work with right away, or you don't like you know meet that one whale for the night, like. You don't have a regular to call in. Yeah. You don't have anyone to ask and say, can you cash at me? You know, like extra yeah. tips. Like, can you come in and see me? Right. None of that. So it's harder. And then girls are territorial when you go to the club. Right. This is what I hear. I did you a know? whole episode on like stripper politics. Yeah. And, like like if some bitches were coming happy. from, you know, another yeah. club into here to dance just for a weekend and take over my money. Right. No. Right. It's funny. <laughs> you know? Comedy is almost the same way. It's like we all feel like it's like competitive. But like what we end up learning is like. Whatever my flavor is, people want to hear that. Whatever your flavor is, they want yeah. that. Like if I if I'm out here buying dances, I want everybody. You yeah, know what I mean that's kind of how. It no, goes. for sure. I think of it like that too, yeah. and I yeah. and I can do a lot better too. And I know people that I can be like, oh, you need a girl. Oh, I got one for you. And yeah. like we're all different or, personalities yeah, and stuff. Right. You and know, or so you can or you co op one. Just like yes. why don't you double? Yeah, yes, all of that. it would be yeah. fucking great to yeah. be able to do that. But, but the, it's not very easy to do well that the, when the, you're going into a big club somewhere else. And the design of the club, from what I've heard, is mm-hmm. that like they want to m- keep like the the performers kind of like squabbling so that they don't have to like deal with whatever other things like whatever requests or whatever things are could be like wrong with the club that could be like improved. They don't want to have to deal with being uh, like like questioned so huh. then as long as all the girls are fighting I haven't they heard don't this. ever go upstairs and be like hey like why don't you just like can you like fix this thing and then that would make us not fight as much you know what i mean i've never heard that but Does that, that sounds sense? like yeah it makes sense it sounds like some corrupt shit right. well what's everything that's well, it's keeping well, it's everybody in competition well, that's that everything. sounds like well that's our society that's yeah that sounds become. like society yeah. honestly yeah. i so was gonna smart. say they that know. it's like we're all just pinned up against yeah. each other and who's really in as control long as you're here arguing with your father at thanksgiving dinner we're not making changes for sure right for sure so yes. okay so back to coming out yeah becoming a stripper so and th- I have heard this uh, quite a bit where it's like, yeah, so the transition from I got to I got to get my money um, and then to OnlyFans from stripping so only became fans, crazier. OnlyFans. Yep. And it was like super like necessary. Yeah. So I was feeling pressure right. to like make a billion dollars a month real quick. Yeah. You know, and that's what you hear. And you watch, you, and you watch YouTube videos. You're like, oh, I could do this, you know. Right. So then I did that. Did you start um, with your content? Like you were like, I'm a stripper. I'm gonna do stripper content. No. You because like I couldn't strip anymore. I wasn't in a club yeah. doing stripper content. Okay. So, I but mean, that would have been smart to do it in my house. Maybe. Um, But what I did instead was go on Tinder. Yeah. Yes. And find I guys to give blowjobs to. Okay. Um, no or shit. like when I was in Texas, you know, like I would meet like a hot guy like on a lake on a boat, you yeah. know, and yeah. be like, wow, like I would fuck you. Yeah. Would you let me film it? You know, and it would be all POV because they wouldn't want their face to be yeah, in it. Where are all these people? Like, I'm literally, I'll be on Tinder. I'll find somebody who's a content creator. I'll be like, hey, you know, whatever, whatever. We've matched. Mm-hmm. And then I'm like, content swap. What are you? And it's like, what, I never I never, s- I, where are you? That's what weird. I, <laughs> yeah. You know, I, s- I actually have s- done that a couple yeah. times since being in mainstream porn. Yeah. Like, I was in Vegas and I used a condo while I'm there. And, like, I met this guy and we, like, you know, did the thing in the elevator where we, like, look at each other. And then I'm like, I'm going to go to the hot tub later if you, like, want to join me. Like, I'll pop in around 11, you know. And he, like, we go that's through. How, that's your move? That w- No, that's just what was. Yeah. It. That's just what it was. Because like we had that. hot tubs, like, yeah. you know. So I was just. You know, I like to go to the hot tub before or after I go to the gym yeah. or like after a scene. Right. It feels real good. Yeah. So like, you know, uh, he came down and I was like, I would suck your dick if you let me filmed it. And yeah. like he had no idea who I was or anything sure. like that. Come to find out he had been on like doing like a couple's porn hub thing for a little bit, like yeah. with a you know, swinger girlfriend or whatever. So he knew the vibes and I was just like, OK. And I did it and I titled it The Man on the 37th Floor. It's great. You know, and he moved out like that weekend. It was. Yeah. Yeah. He it's was great. moving out anyway. It's great. Yeah. So yeah. I did that. Perfect and that's how I started the OnlyFans content. So it was like the safest thing for me. No shit. You know, and I just, you know, was as safe, as safe as I could. And I was like, um doing that and a lot of solo content a lot of squirting content yeah. and just like trying to you know do some girl girl stuff yeah. with my home girls that we all had gay in the club anyway like right. make out together and stuff so why not and then one of my best friends was like you should really do mainstream porn yeah it's so funny it feels like it feels like a lot of people are just like um like you just need like one recommendation and yeah like and I can, I can it call opened th- up my fucking and mind. I can call the guy. Yeah. Yeah. It yeah. was fucking like Doctor Strange, like right? opened up a portal okay. hole. And I was like, 
never thought of that, yeah. you know? And, and so, yeah, so I fucking, like, went on Google, which is why this is, like, pisses me off when people ask me, like, how to get into the industry. Right. I'm going to tell you right now. It's people that I'm are... tell you right now. People don't want to try that hard. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you right now to go on Google. Yeah. And you Google agents just like you would Google universities. Yeah. Like, you look for colleges. Right. You look for agents. And you apply, you follow their directions, yeah. you submit your fucking essay, your pictures, your yeah. measurements, yeah. a video, whatever. Is there an essay? No, I'm just <laughs> kidding. I'm just kidding because it's like, you know, school. I get it. But like, yeah. I'm just kidding. And like you submit per their directions because they're all different. And then yeah. they call you back or they don't, yeah. you know, and then you go pick which one's the right fit for you. Like, yeah. it's not hard. It's great. So that's what I did. And then they were just like, um, you know, my, be my best friend was like, you're s you'd be so good. Like, you're so hot. And you've been a dancer and like, you know how to talk to people and you'd be good in camera and you have all these things. And I was yeah. like, I literally never thought that. Sure. And here I am. Yeah. Sign in. Just being me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and, and that's what and that's what's really nice. I think now, um, again, I, I like to draw the transition from like what it was before. It's like I think like when I started doing this podcast, it was more about like anonymity and like being a fantasy and yeah. now it's more about like just reaching in and like trying to be as authentic as possible and yes. like because that's i think that's what like the fan base wants it's like yeah. we don't want to feel like somebody's putting on a show or we don't want to feel kind of like the gay for pay thing we don't want to feel like anybody's like yeah. being not authentic for like sure we want to like we want to beat off to the the real you yeah there's a fine line with that sure because you can over you know there's a very fine line 100 percent. but um but I think that ever since I started, I did want to be one of those people yeah. that felt like, you know, I knew who I was and it's not an act. Right. And I think it might just be a little bit easy for me because I've been Brenna McKenna for like 10 years. Like Brenna's been my stripper name. Right. Like I've been Brenna. Yeah. You know, like I've been Brenna McKenna. Like right. that's like been my my thing. Yeah. So letting people in though it, like it's authentic i think they appreciate it um you know they say that they can see your personality or they see you with no makeup on or they see you smile and you don't act perfect and you're silly you know and they like that yeah you know so yeah like because well, the gfe the girlfriend experience became that like that that middle ground between these these transition points of like mainstream porn with lights and then like oh like i want this to seem like i could do this yeah with this person yeah so that's like important for yeah the user but, but it takes like one little thing for you to like be too open about something sure. and realize you overshared or sure. like people don't like that or it was too much information or something when have you overshared and what was it <laughs> now that it's out there right now just i mean on a like just on personal things yeah. like i've come to realize that even though like you know they love you they don't like really care about your personal drama right right like, like your right. personal like family business and drama right. like maybe every now and then someone will want you to vent but like for the most part like only fans is not like a diary that's or smart. a journal that's smart you know like you yeah. don't want to do like the night you, like you just you don't want to overshare that's like, really smart for me anyway well, like i just maybe don't want to have that vibe i of think you're like right you know, I think you're right. And so I definitely wouldn't talk about like I wouldn't debate with, you know, like right. I wouldn't treat these people like 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 I'm having a one on one fucking debate and have to right. prove my, you know, like right. tell them like all of my, you know, explanations yeah. of, you know, things like there are some things I feel like smart. Yeah. Just you're, don't have yeah. to be. Tangled you're going to go far in. knowing all that stuff right now, because uh, even you saying that stuff just makes just like. Makes me think of controversies that I've like witnessed yeah. from the outside. Like, don't People even get matter. on Twitter and now they're like arguing in a thing, or like they'll take a stance on something that happened in the last five years yeah. and then now they're gone. Like, what? Because everything like, changes, yeah. any, like year by year. Yeah. You know, like if everyone just let every like every disagreement or difference tear them apart, no yeah. one would be friends. Right. And then you know, the election cycle would pass. Yeah. There'd be a whole new different like people like, you know, around. Yeah. And now, and now you're you not still got and now you still got beef for you no know, reason. And you, and you just like ruin things, you know, right. like so I just like hate talking about that kind of stuff. Yeah, I you feel know, that. and I keep out of drama with like performers. Like I don't even get in yeah. drama with anyone on the Internet. Yeah. Where people can, are seeing likes and replies and you're exposing like like I just feel like there's no place for that stuff yeah. for me. And in my real life, too. Right. You know, like in my real life, yeah. I don't give a fuck about what anyone thinks of their yeah. beliefs. I don't even ask. I do not care. Yeah. And like if there's some f stuff, I just will rather block and delete a yeah. person's number. Right. You know?
So I was just like, what's that got to do with dinner, Dad? Peace like, what are we talking mind. about? <laughs> right. Peace of mind, like, on all fronts of life, to be yeah. honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel that. <laughs> um, what was I going to ask Which you? Is, that's very, um, that was very um, pie in the sky. Yeah. That was very, like, a general sure, sure, sure. thing for life. Yeah. But back I think, I for think porn, good. too, though. I think it's <laughs> no, but, like, even, even like, the inside <laughs> on the thing, because there's been people in this industry who have, uh, who have like, gotten accidents, needed operations, and then them using their platform to be like, hey, like, I need a new spine, like, turned their fans off. And then I've had my Which I've had my run sad, but like but it's you like know. but, but that that's not what the platform's for. Yeah, you know it's what like I mean? we're like this that's is not a GoFundMe. It's like okay, cool. Like how you start is like important. Yeah. Like if you're starting off as you know like something, yeah. they're gonna attach to you and they're gonna have that idea of you. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what well, is the thing that may not be your responsibility, but you can't expect anyone else to like adhere to your changes. Yeah. You know, like you might get a different crowd, but it won't be the same ones that yeah. you have. Like maybe that's a good. Yeah. That's a good. Okay, so that 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 thing's a good question. Do you um the the more content you make, the more you interact with your fans. Yeah. Is that do you start to feel like they're um like creating a smaller and smaller sliver of what your like identity is? I think if you let that, maybe. Yeah. I think maybe if you like listen, and like take like what's the saying like not take it with a grain of salt. Yeah. You know because like. What do you mean? Like I a mean, lot of people are like imagine requesting like things? In or? Life. Yeah, like, yeah, like if you have people request just one thing and then you just give them and you, what they want and you don't do things that you like, like you will not have time for the things that you want to put out anymore. Right. If you're just worried about like the money and giving everyone what right. they want. Right. And so you're not enjoying also it. So there's right. that balance of, sure. okay, I will do it for the money, but I'm not doing porn to take orders. Right. Right. <laughs> I'm right. doing it because I love right. it and I, like I wanted that. to put out stuff that I'm yeah. doing. Like I'm not I didn't start porn to be told what to do with my body. Right. Which is it's quite the opposite. Right. Which is funny know? because I think that's still like the old idea. Yeah. Is that there's this like like this thing that's like controlling no, people. Like I'm not a puppet. I'm coming here to volunteer yeah. my fucking like sexual yeah. energy because this is what I want to do and I love sharing it. Right. And, and you, I love and people that love it, you know, and I'm a freak like that. I'm a gooner, like I'm a fucking perv. Yeah. You know? So yeah, but so it's like listening to critics and listening to um to like good feedback and like not taking either too serious. Yeah. You know, and just and then sooner or later you will hone in on either your vision or people who like you. I have people who will buy literally anything I put out no matter what right. it is because they like me and they want to put money in my pocket yeah. because I spend hella time yeah. late, late, lately putting it out there and you know making trailers myself and like you know, just caring more. So uh, you were talking about the editing. So are you, you, you self edit all that stuff? I, I do. Sometimes I pay someone yeah. like if it's just like way too many clips and yeah. like it was a bad film tag or something. Um, but I've been trying to do it myself more. Okay. Yeah. Do you enjoy At it? least the trailers. Yeah. But if I can film it right and it's like in three clips of like positions or whatever, I can put it together. Wait, like what's the trick? Yeah. So if you're, if you're self filming, um, all right, how many cameras? What are you using? How it's are you doing? It's hard, like, because if it's like I'm fucking you, right, for OnlyFans, for yeah. example, and we're in a hotel room, yeah. the angles are different in every room. Right. The lighting is different in every room. So it takes a long time. Right. So you might, like, have an angle, and then you did two minutes of it, and you're like, wow, there's a shadow on my face. Right. And you look back, it's and then you got to change it and stack up, like, a chair and a right. tissue box and, like, film it different. Yeah. So sometimes That's it's my like favorite, <laughs> when, like, behind the scenes, and it's just like, yeah. It's like it's like all this stuff is stacked up. You're like, okay, no, just just don't rotate your weight right. on this side. Like or all the solos up. I filmed, the dildo is like stuck onto like one of those like plastic like boxes that you get from a like a hunting store that holds like you know like the like, plastic like containers. Like a crate? Yeah, like they're like it's like is that, right? <laughs> that you can't see. Yeah, you know, like it's like all these rigs and shit that people use. Like yeah. I filmed for one person and his like camera is like a swinging thing like on a swivel. Is that right? That he made like with wood and like he like made a he made <laughs> a uh, he made a crane cam. Yeah, and it's like he's it's like great. he's like really like. That's good, a fa like but that, that's a fantastic. It's like I don't know if I've seen crane cam shit. shots. Yeah, yeah, but like it's really. What like if they, you ever seen the Matrix one where they do that? Like it's a full, no, it's a full three sixty like blowjob. That'd be fantastic. No, uh, I love the Matrix so. Yeah, yeah, that'd be fantastic. <laughs> uh, yeah, but so it's hard. So just so to self shoot, I don't. I just I do like something and I'll record it for like a minute or two to yeah. see before I waste my whole fucking position. Right, smart. And yeah. then, you know, fuck it up and not want to do doggy for yeah. 10 minutes again. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's so. funny. Yeah. And then so if you keep it in like less and less, you know, but yeah, I'm just I'll learn to edit like the zoom in, like the crazy like motions and like split screen views. Okay. I'll learn. Yeah. But, like, you know, I'm getting into it a little yeah. bit when I get good feedback on OnlyFans that people are at least watching it or like I like it and it looks good. 
then it makes me want to invest more time in it. You know, like there's also like, like really whatever good. you create, and I, I'm going to say this, um, like to your benefit, whatever you create, uh, even if you're doing something different and it's not like what the uh, the norm was. If I like you and I like your content and yeah. I'm into you, whatever you're doing now, that that becomes a new thing. Yeah. So like the handheld, like kind of down gritty thing yeah. that that kind of like ate up the whole generation, like 10 years behind me. So like because they were in high school getting like naked pictures and videos from their yes. girlfriends. So like that thing where they could just like have this POV thing, which I wasn't interested. In. I didn't like get it like that's more real to them. Yeah. Like I was used to I'm, f I'm almost 40. Like I was used to seeing like mainstream like good lighting everybody's tan the, yeah the sets and the, yeah. the and then blind had, the lights blur yeah. everything make it look all yeah perfect and then i had like transitioning that. down to like the stuff that felt amateur yes um then had a different like sexy piece or like i had a relationship that was long distance and we would just snapchat yeah all day long like uh -huh. like sex snapchat and then all of a sudden chatterbait is like my favorite thing it's just like this girl's like masturbating to me like, yes so it changes your whole thing so yes. if you do something new or innovative I think I think we'll be yeah. into it. Yeah, I'm sh yeah, I'm sure I'll, it'll translate to yeah. people for yeah. sure. And 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 then it's it's like sex. It kind of does sell itself. Yeah. If you just like yeah. do it right. You put yourself out there. You the, know, the worst. The only worst part is if you have like a thing. Like I love seeing penetration. I love seeing pussy. Yeah. Um, like if there's a thing where so something's cut out or like the butthole's just clipped off. Like that's the only thing where I'm like. Like like that where like the the production is like I'm like come on like where's the it, I need it the ruins angle. it for you yeah I need, yeah, the, you angle. need the whole I thing. need to see the thing that I need to see yeah right you now. need to see the whole yeah no for me too like if I'm watching porn right and I don't see the nutsack like slapping against right. like the girl I'm like I need to see the balls I need to see it I'm like I I and I need to see her titties bouncing like yeah. sometimes I I know I understand I completely I Th this angle I guess <laughs> yes, yeah yes, and everything's that going is, that way yeah. yeah I love doing that point when I'm yeah. doing mainstream I love doing Gonzo that is like my yeah. favorite shit where you just get it all in you know and yeah. it's not like framed and it's not like you know like lines and like I'm just like fuck yeah. get it all like oil it up like make it good yeah well because when because when you're having sex as like well I'm speak from the male perspective it's like. Like I'm in the thing, so like I can like I, I like if I if I want to see ass right now, I just flip her over. If I want to see, I flip. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like that's the same way I'm kind of like with one. Like I just I need to see titties right now. Like so where's are the, you where's into the camming and stuff? Like do you watch? Is that turn you on more, or do you watch the, cam? The camming like watch. That? So I don't know. I'm at a, I'm at like I a weird transition. I used to cam too in college. I, a, I yeah, loved it. I'm at a weird transition, so I don't. I think now. Um, I'm still I'm still kind of mainstream ish, okay. but then I'm also like it's become a thing where knowing who the people are and that kind of thing has become a part of it. Because but how we're so personal, it all yeah. comes full circle, right? Like the more that we can be ourselves, yeah. the more you f no, enjoy authenticity the for shit sure. that comes around. Like because also like when I first started, like I would just I would just like I would uh, interview somebody that I just like had seen on the thing, and so I don't know what the personality is, and sometimes they're. Um, they're like harder interviews. I Maybe understand. Maybe it's kind of a dud a dud or interview. Um, <sighs> but then also I have this weird relationship now where it's like if I interview somebody like that's that's a wrap for me like jerking off to them. Right. Like that's like all of the like pre like new girl like I'd never seen her before due to the industry uh -huh. and I'm like all juiced up about the idea that like it's like a new person. Uh huh. Um, that's like that goes away. I do the interview. It's like now I feel like I met somebody. We have a relationship. We're friends. I'm not. I can't joke after my friends. That seems weird to me. I understand. Um, I wish that was weird to some of my. So I've had some male friends that I've had to stop talking to. Well, I and so I had I asked a question a lot too because like, like you got way too close to my OnlyFans, bro. Like well, you've given right. me too much money that I would not have normally taken from right. you. So right. <laughs> well, so th so it's relationships different because it's the same kind of thing. It's it's like it's like stripping. Like if you had a regular, like the 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 longer you have them, right, the less likely you want to have an actual personal relationship with them. And this might be fucking up your money actually. So I'll, I'll leave that. Yeah, I don't know. That might that <laughs> might it's, uh, it depends on the person. Yeah. I think sometimes you have a regular; they give you less and less money over time because they uh, get used okay. to you. Oh, interesting. They take you for granted, they find a new bitch. Interesting. So how do you play that? You just gotta. Do you have to give it more distance? No, nah, you just person to person. You just find person the next person. Find however the, next the one. person is. I see. Whatever. However the person is. Interesting. You know. You seem like you're you're you good at people. Haven't you balanced multiple bitches before? Yes. Some I of you haven't had like two or three bitches. People. You know what I figured out recently? I had to like explain something to somebody uh, about their about their life actually was that like uh, what happens with men is whoever's whoever like they're they're dating multiple people whoever's uh, creating the most trouble yeah. is who you have to you end up accidentally spending more time on. 
So they're like, they might be the most toxic Girls one. do that. But because you got to give all the oh, energy yeah. and vibes here, it like, you it like atrophies all this. You think they act jealous and they want like the right. fucking c- validation yeah. and because they want, like, it's also girls, kinda, they want to take your time. It's also like, kind of sexy. Like having somebody be like obsessed over you, which has never gone good for me, is so fucking hot. It is hot. It's so hot. It's hot. It's toxic and it's hot. It's, yeah. Oh. I mean, it could not be toxic. Maybe she can learn to not be toxic. I don't know. No, because what goes with that usually is, yeah, it's like a lot of jealousy. Then she gets watered down. But she <laughs> <laughs> well, no, so no. Oh, you're not toxic? You're not a freak no more. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. So, uh, well, so I've definitely, like, sent away a good relationship because I was like, she didn't, like, check on me last night. Like, I could have been getting, I'm not getting into shit, but I could have been getting into shit. Yeah. She didn't check on me. She don't even care. Or what about, it's like, like oh, no, when she trusts me. What a <laughs> it's like that's what's and wrong with this girl. <laughs> right. No, but it's more like it's more like that doesn't feel like love to me. Like I like I only understand love through obsession is how I figured out how to phrase it. Right? That that's is not a, good. That's a good. you problem. But I no. <laughs> no, I'm in therapy. <laughs> okay. It's getting and the more I'm in therapy, the worse it gets. That's what's <laughs> that's what's fuck have you been in therapy before? You're fetishizing it. You're like, nah, this is great. I fucking Here's love it. Here's what this I'm sex. fetishizing <laughs> now is that I only date women who can't apologize, but then uh like the the, the, the my girlfriend now uh, she figured out that if she apologizes during sex, that's like my favorite shit. Yes. But she, it's, it's not real. She doesn't mean it, right? No. She's not. Or, but it's also like you can't just. I the problem that I've had is like that. Or maybe she only really can mean it and be vulnerable. Look, if you the if sex. you go to my house and you throw out things in my house because you think they have something to do with some other girl, like yes, you have to be like you have to have the best head game ever. But also that shouldn't be the facts. I've done it. Truth. <laughs> that shouldn't be the reason why it's okay. And that's where I'm at. Is that like as long as we're doing like crazy like next level, keep keep like progressing sexual shit. I'm crying right now. It's like that she can do worse and worse shit and to me. And you can't even check her. You can't even check her ass no. and be like, bitch, I won't accept this fucking no. behavior. Because no, because she fucking that flips that. Sh- she flips that shit. And then, yeah, and then I'm addicted to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. My little butt, my little butt cum slut. Yeah. You are a lucky man, to be honest. <laughs> okay. As long as you can handle the stress. No, because like it's the kind of shit where, like, this is the kind of person that's going to cut me. Like, this is the kind of person that's going to stab me one day. You know what I mean? I don't, but it's uh, you're enjoying it. You look you uh, look maybe. happy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I like that. So as a comedian, I'm always like, I'm always like I'm in a toxic relationship. My girlfriend's I'm at, thinks I'm at Whole Foods right now, and that's like the realest line in my shit. It's like, so do do you think that the girl do they really love comedians? Like, do bitches get wet for comedians? I've never. F- do you get call, a lot they, of they puss they for call, it? They call it a chuckle fucker, and I've never fucked a chuckle fucker because. So I've never fucked a chuckle fucker, but I fuck people because I'm a comedian. Does that make sense? Like because you're not known. Yeah. So I, so like you I w- can say that you're I w- like. I went to what? I went to one town. There's one town in this country, and I won't shout it out anymore. But there's one town in this country where I like went to. The, I like fucked the whole town. I would go every like eight months, and for some reason, it was just it was like it's small enough of a town, and it's big enough of a club where my face is on the poster for two months. All of a sudden, and then I get on Tinder, and they're like, "Oh, I saw your face in the thing," and I get to fuck the whole town. That one time. That's one thing. Um. And it's That's the same lit. thing. It's like lit. there's an there's an obsession like aspect to it. Yeah. Um, which I like. Yes. Me too. Yeah. So. I yeah. But I don't. I'm I generally won't front. try to fuck the person in the audience after the show. I generally. got you. It's like a little bit. It's like cheating. I got you. And they're it's just not the guys that make you laugh are so hot. You know. Sure. Like it is really. It is really nice. Sure. Then you get wine drunk and then you want to fuck after. Well, and then you know, comedians a funny use ass it. Dinner. Yeah, comedians use it as yeah. a thing. They'll be like, com- could, they'll like go to coffee, like, go to I a could show. I imagine fucking you after a good show. Yeah. yeah. If you really fucking made me laugh. If the dates go, if the dates are going weird and I want to like pump it up and I have a good show going, I'm like, you invite them to the show, treat them great in the back, special treatment, whatever, do the show. It's a closer. In the green room. It's a closer, yeah. yeah. It's a closer <laughs> for sure. Yeah, hundred um, percent. I want to ask you this before we go, because okay. you, you got you got places to be. Um, yes, I do. You but do. Also, you gotta go this get your. Fun. Yeah, you gotta go get your. I you do gotta have go sign to your go shit. Do my thing. Um, I like the idea that you already kind of knew the monetization part of it. Like that's like because of the stripping, you already knew like that when the OnlyFans comes out and when the when the porn comes out, that like you have to figure out how to like monetize this thing, and that's like the hardest part for a lot of people. Is figuring that thing out. I'm not like a genius marketer, you but know. But you know, th- but you understand that it's like, well, no, okay, sorry. So this is this, is, this is the I point when I thought about it. You were like, I can, I'm going to go to college. I can pay for college through stripping. Yeah. I can use my body for that purpose. Yes. I want. Here's the thing that I find that is still lacking in the conversation. I think a lot of people think that like, 
that thought process it comes from like a weird place or from or from like a um uh what's the word like your you're not how do i ask you to say daddy issues <laughs> i'm just kidding no i want you to say that like because it's your decision that it's like a positive yeah. thing and that and that like that's what feminism is and it's not because there's like there's a there's a whole other stroke where it's like feminism mm -hmm. um but like but like against sex work right oh right okay so i just had come across a twitter thread on that and i did make a twitter thread on this specific one because okay. all because like i said i don't really get into like you know too much hefty business yeah but like how do you i but, want you to explain why is, is it not coercion yes and that you are completely consenting and you're only doing things that you want to do and that monetizing it is a positive thing and not a negative thing <sighs> like it's I such have a to explain this muddy. to the feminists that it's, are anti-sex work it's muddy muddy water and then and then all the old dudes who like think that um sex trafficking and porn are like hand in hand no i got it and you don't maybe have to control the whole conversation right really, i'm like I this could be a separate fucking it's thing. so hard um but i but for myself like i mean coercion Hold up. So coercion? Nah. Like I just always have wanted to. Like I just have the confidence in myself. When I was little, I just wanted to like be a Victoria's Secret model, but obviously I don't look like one. You know, so like back then there were stereotypes and I just didn't think but I've always wanted to do something like yeah. this, you know. And then being You didn't think you had the I've body type. Yeah, like I just like loved my body and myself. And even though like I'm sh like I can be like a little like I have low self-esteem sometimes like every girl, you know, but I've been confident overall. It's just been me um, and it's given me control that I know that I can do it any way I want and make money from it. Yes. I don't have to take orders. I'm an independent contractor. Yes. Yes, you're I your own boss. I don't have to give my money to anyone. I take money. Yeah. Well, and even and even so, I so you know, there's very people always send me movies, things that come out in the industry. So like, and the most recent movie came out. I can't think of what it's called. Um, the whole movie is the same idea, where it's like this girl, this girl joins the industry, and then her first six shoots, she has to like do things she doesn't want to do. And I don't. <sighs> there maybe that's happening, but the people that I interview have so not been in that I'm situation. So this is what I'm going to say that I hope is taken like to empower women, but like. And I know that some girls get in the industry and they trust the wrong person and people take advantage. And it is a very it's a, it can be an industry where you, one mistake is dangerous or it ruins your reputation or it leads you down a path where you just meet people who are not giving you good advice or whatever. Um, but the Internet can be resourceful. I would ask people to, like, do research, look into who you're talking to, ask for references for people that they have worked with, you know, so that you don't make those mistakes. But for girls like. We can make our own choices and we can say no. We don't have to do anything for money. I think that's when you are putting yourself in a situation where you're pimping yourself out if you don't want to say no on a set because you want the paycheck after yeah. or because you don't want to upset someone. Yeah. You know, again, like you're on set with a person one on one. I understand if you feel like you can't say no. Right. I would never be on a set with a person, just a one on one man, unless I trusted them or had references from them. Right. That is just common sense to me. Well, this I brings up this brings but up a I thing. I understand that not everyone has that common sense or maybe guidance that I've had but over I think, time. But I think they do. I think mostly they do. And I th think that people don't look or try hard enough, and they jump into things. They do it emotionally. They're very desperate. They need money, but nothing can be more important than yeah. like your self certain, like your certainty, but, uh, your but safety. But you're talking. But so we're, you now you're, now you're kind of feeding into what the thought process. And so to speak to the positive side, which is like, you don't you don't put yourself in those situations. No. And you would say no if you're in that. Just like if you're at a re another job. I have said and, no on and, set. Right, and you're a bartender, and they're like, "Well, you got to go clean the toilets." You go, "I'm not cleaning the toilets. No, I'm a bartender, not, baby. No, that's not my job. I signed up to do A, B, Look, C, and D." I have D. told people like, yeah. and and this and and I hope it, yeah. So like I've told people like I'm not gonna fluff you every position. Right. That's not my job. Right. There's no fluffers anymore. Right. Okay. Like it's my job to be the girl and do the things and open my holes, right. clean out. Yeah. Okay. Make sure I didn't eat. Right. Make sure I don't puke on your dick. Okay. Right. It's your job to stay hard while you fuck me and come at the end. Yeah. Everybody. And just I know it's a hard job. Right. Right. And at the end, you don't have to come on command. Like, we'll wait, you know, yeah. for you to jerk off for like 20, 30, if you need to. Yeah. But like. You know, like you all this off camp, like I yeah. just you draw boundaries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I and women should like really like and so like I guess like for feminists, I don't know, like to tie it back, like we have our 
we have our boundaries too. Like we don't, we're not like moralists. Like we just value different things. Yeah. And, and what I think of people who like say like, I'm people are too good for sex work. Girls are too good for sex work. Right. Or we shouldn't do sex work. It's not empowering. I don't think it's empowering for me to be applying and working at Starbucks. Okay. I have a Starbucks around the corner from my place in yeah. South Philly. Yeah. And it's disgusting. Right. And homeless people walk in sure. and they want to use the bathroom and they shit on the floor. Right. And they throw up on the tables and they steal things. Yep. And I tip my bar and they all the ones that dicks. I make in the strip club <laughs> to make up for them. Yeah. yeah. And they have to kick these people out and call security. Yeah. It's like. So why is it empowering to. You know, it's empowering to do whatever the fuck you want. And when it's empowering to make you happy and not give a fuck about what anyone else thinks. That's empowering. Like even if I came out and my family didn't like it, like I wouldn't hide. That's just not who I am. I've done things even my older sister has been like, I don't think you should be doing that. I'm like, yeah. well, I want to be you. Yeah. I love you and I love me. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like you just some people just don't give a fuck. But I guess if you're into it for the validation or the wrong reasons, I don't know. Like you're trying to gain acceptance or maybe you think you're getting an underhand by by like, I don't know, like doing anything I can't think of because that's not me. Like that's yeah. like the wrong intention. Yeah. I like when you go off on your on your things. We're like we're, the first one was when you started like <laughs> explaining stripper shit to us, and you using like stri- and you using like like jargon and lingo, Dude, and I'm like trying to keep up. This right? whole convention, everyone's <laughs> been like, "Are you from here?" And I'm like, "What the fuck you mean? Like, how yeah, I'm fucking from here?" Like, and they're like, "Oh, that's why you're like aggressive." So I'm like, "I don't show it, but like I'm aggressive yeah. as fuck." Well, like, but your buddy, but your whole culture is like <laughs> I can feel your hip hop side culture. Kind of, I can yes. feel that. Like kinda, it's like because yes. it's all like it's all like the starting point for that is and, and like being from a city. It's like the starting point is like bravado and like nobody fucks with me and like That's I, how I'm Jersey about my is. business. Like yeah, we well, New York, right Jersey, beginning. Philly, Boston. Yes, like the whole thing. Yeah, yes, like yeah. even like because I like on the West Coast is where all my work is. Right, we're right? just listening and we're listening. We're kids. Fuck bitches. Get PR, money. My PR <laughs> manager Ari, who like is out there, everything. Yeah. So like when I talk to him and we just started working together and like we go back and forth, he's like, "Wow, you bust my balls." Yeah, but it's like the East Coast thing, yeah. and he gets it because he's like been in New York too. Well, two so parts. He knows, but like when I'm talking to these West Coast people and they think. I'm aggressive. I'm like, I think that you're I, fucking flaky yeah. and lazy. And they, are. <laughs> and they are. I'm like, I think that you really don't value you, my time. Like I'm valuing right. yours. So actually. when I when I do LA and Vegas, I I I stack double the amount of interviews because I know people are gonna bail. Yeah. And then I'm just sitting there. Yeah, um, yeah. And the communication's bad. Like I yeah. over-explain. I be going yeah. into it. People don't be giving fucks. Yeah. And I think it is like a coast to coast. Well, like, and that's what I appreciate. Thing. When I asked you, you were like, you were like, this time to this time. And then I was like, is this LA like just show up at any time and we'll do it, <laughs> or is it literally come at like the, like 31 right. and get out of here at one? Right. And right. I was like, and I and I respect the shit out of that. You're like, no, no, no. 30 to, to 50. That's what we're doing. That's it. <laughs> Thank you. And Thanks I appreciate it. Because it's like, yeah. Because it's like, oh yeah. No, I'm still like no, like like it's it's, it's like fast paced New York, yeah. Philly, New Jersey. What's happening? When do I have to be yeah, there? I don't know. Sense of control, me. Yeah. I don't know something yeah. about it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I appreciate you being patient <laughs> with me too. No, and I, I fucked up. Like thank that, you for not canceling. I, off like that. I fucked up huge, and thank you for not canceling. Like, but yeah, I thought it was so cool. I had the I had the thing all set up. I'm like I'm I'm like I'm friends with the guy at the door. At I the, know. At I was thing. like, imagine he was home. And just running late and oh, lying the whole the time. No, I know. Yeah. I was like, imagine. But people do that. But there's no way that you were going to be set up in a room and literally say, yeah. come down. Oh, no, wait. I'm switching locations. Yeah, I come in fu- this room. Uh, you know? Yeah. So that was really funny. I fucked up huge. But yeah, no, fuck what people think, man. Um, fuck what people think. Yeah. Fuck, fuck what they do, think. Um, are you, are you Everyone's entitled to their own opinion, though. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not going to be disrespectful and say that they're like, you know, they can think whatever they want. Yeah. I had a situation finally. Uh, it's never happened to me before, where because I've been doing comedy, I'm doing my own thing, I'm my own boss, um, and and generally I've like rubbed people the wrong way a lot, like in like circumstances because I want yeah. shit to be right. Yeah. Um, but I had a situation where it wasn't comedy based, and I'm like helping somebody put set to get actually put together a podcast studio, and I like got called in for like the third meeting after we agreed on a price, and I could f- it feels like he's trying to like renegotiate price, and I already gave him like the sweetheart deal. All right. And um, and then he calls somebody, and the person on the phone's like, "Yo, you don't need Dan, you don't need nobody, blah blah blah." And I was like, and I'm like going through my head, I'm like, "Is this like a, I'm gonna have to? F- it's like an old school Brooklyn. I'm like, is this like I'm gonna have to fight somebody? Is this like a, I'm gonna have to stand up for myself? Is this like a, like what am I supposed to do?" And so I got like all like I got like all Brooklyn because I felt like that's what he wanted. And I was like, "Yo, I didn't come here to get disrespected." And like, you know, you got this guy on the phone. I don't know him. You don't know me. He don't know. And I was just like, and I went like I went like uh-huh, deep Brooklyn uh-huh. on him, uh-huh. and it worked. Yeah. I feel like if I did that somewhere else, they'd be like, I don't, "This is this guy is out of pocket." All you gotta do is be. Just all you gotta yeah. do is just fucking. Just 
just do whatever you want. Yeah. Well, I want to ask you this, and then we got to go. Okay. Um, yeah, how long has it been? The thing is, almost an hour. The oh, thing okay, is great. that we're supposed <laughs> to do, um, as a comedian, is like we're, we like we like work up to having an album or having like an hour and like go on the road. What is it for you? Do you like? Do you want to put out like? Because you want, well, because what happened was you said a thing that sounds like an album title. It's like, do you want to come out with like uh, like a? Do you come out with like an hour of you or that's just your DVD that's like you and like a slogan, like. Brennan McKenna, you know, uh, fuck bitches get money or what, you know, whatever. I can't remember what you said. Yo, it ha- honestly, I, everyone will make fun of me for this, but every, but my friends know I do want to come out with a mixtape. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I'm just, I really do, but that's okay. not what I, that's not porn related. Are but you? I really do though. What do you do? You sing or do you rap? No, I don't do either. You know any? What's I would, I would, I would do some features. Like I would get my friends because I have a lot of like in Philly. Yeah. You know, but I would love to do like features on some songs. That'd be cool. I do, I do like, I, to, I, I do like to write poems. I'm the same that way. That rhyme. In I'm the rap same way. Formation. Yeah, I'm so, the same way. No, but like as far as porn, I won't come out with like a DVD or anything like that for myself. Maybe. You do or don't? Maybe not. Okay. Maybe well, not. so what's the goal? What like you're but you like you've right changed now, changed lanes so many times. Yeah. So I love porn. I'm all about the longevity of it because it seems like you can really grow in porn. Yeah. And like you know, we were talking before. I think we were even rolling. Like you can go from like teen to milk. Yeah. And I want to reinforce you that know, in porn. I think and if I'm I your fan like at I can 20, do that yeah. the entire time and grow up in porn because yeah. I'm a baby, like right. I am new. You know, well, like as, as a comedian, what they want, what we were supposed to get was was like when I was 22, I was supposed to get on MTV and get the 22 people so that like I had them forever. So then right. they're MTV and then they're fucking what right. it, now they're CNN and now they watch you on Joe <laughs> World, right, yeah, whatever, right. whatever the fuck, right. right, right, and so I think that that's the thing in so porn f- that yes. that can go. Yeah, I'm so with you now. I'll be with you as long as you're hot and putting out content i'll be with you the whole time yeah I hope i'm so. getting older you're getting older it's the same yeah and i will change as a person like we all do you know like one day i will be a milf and get some fucking milky jug titties, <laughs> okay? right. is that are you gonna are you gonna make body mods do you think yeah are you dude this seems like the thing so like i, w- I want to speak to not, not anytime soon i want to speak to this a little bit yeah we can do that and it's not my it's not my choice and it's not and i and my thing has no value but um Whoever I'm into, I'm into whatever they got. Uh-huh. And when they uh, change it, sometimes they become a different, I don't know. Yeah, they become and a different person. And so so uh-huh. that, so I don't know how to, I don't know how to like speak to it without it sounding like I'm telling women what to do with their bodies. But you don't have to I worry about that. I think you'd be happy with who you are and, and like the fans that you have are yeah. there for you, for the no, real for you. Sure, authentic for sure. you. No, absolutely. Yeah. And you're pro- and maybe I won't because let's be real. Everybody it's been do what they want to do. I've been a stripper for a while. I've had plastic surgeons come to me and be like, "Oh my god, like I would do your titties, like I would do your yeah. whatever." This seems to be a thing. And I have and I have been okay with not getting my titties done. Like yeah. I've been quite all right and I've never wanted to get a boob job yet. Yeah. I just think that when it's time to be a MILF if I'm in the industry that okay. long yeah. that I might want to finally for the second half of my life right. maybe enjoy some titties yeah okay you know like <laughs> i know I, I know what it's like for this long to not have titties yeah. so maybe i would like to know like if you couldn't make your dick bigger you wouldn't make your dick bigger i don't know and if you had a brand new girlfriend who never knew that your dick you know yeah like she'd appreciate it know. and if fans want to leave for that i'm sure i will gain fans sure. for my fucking milk titties in 30 years that's fair or whatever the case may be yeah i take, but I take maybe i won't because so i've heard there are some hot milfs that don't have big titties at all and if i can I age like that then by all means and you i know? do but i think but i think the change in the industry where it, it's not all about plastics and all the things yeah. is the thing that we're that the that the audience is responding to well right? i wouldn't be doing it like or a trend or anything. No, I understand. I'm trying to s- figure out how to say it without sounding stupid. No, um, just say it how you want, I but, guess. But I think, um, no, I don't know. I think, no, but uh, throughout the whole thing and your response to it is more like um, she knows what she wants to do. She makes decisions and those are the right decisions. So that's actually the heart of the whole thing. Whatever decision that you have and want, that actually is the right answer. Yeah, my like sh- my shit doesn't. I matter. already know you can't even make everybody happy. <laughs> right. It does scare me that if I got them and they weren't perfect. Right. I well would be fucking up perfection. I see. Because I agree. You know, so I do see both sides. It's like I'm yeah. but like I'm totally not opposed. Yeah. Like I would hope that people are not like, I'm gonna completely not watch you if you get titties. I'd be like, 
Okay, bye. You know, right. if I had them. Yeah. But if not, on the on the opposite way, if I had people say, I just if you don't ever get a boob job, like, and you don't have uh, titties, you won't be a milf. I'd say, okay, then bye. Like, like yeah. go watch me be a milf. I just with my small milf titties. Here's what I think. You know? Part of it is, I think part of it is, is is fear of aging for all people. And I think that the eight. This is what I want. This is the only the last thing I'll say. About okay. It, is that I think <laughs> the aging part is sexy and like and like. Um, yeah. So like, I think a lot of people when they're trying to change things, they're trying to arrest aging yes. and i think the aging part is the is the hopper like there's something nice about somebody who's been like somebody my age who's been yeah. like around and like dude milfs make had, fucking yeah. money had it, kids it's for and, a like reason. had a husband and like has like multiple exes there's something like hot about that <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> they can fucking show you yeah. things they have flavor <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah and you've been torn up and ripped apart and i that's kind of hot together hell yeah. Hot. yeah yeah i mean i hope that there's a fucking somebody for everybody and everybody <laughs> for somebody because right. that's what it's all about for yeah. me <laughs> all right let's pump your stuff so i can't put any more in the in the comments only pins and all that stuff because we get blocked on everything so just say it for now camera how do we follow you how do we pay for your porn how do how do you want us to monetize you right so actually they are all the same username i have not been deleted on anything yet so that's great all of them i'll spell it at b-r-e-n-n-v-m-c-k-e-n-n-v in college i slipped I switched my A's for V's. Okay. Yes. Like my old username when it was my real name. Oh, that's funny. The A's were still V's. I like it. Yes. So that's what it is. Brenda McKenna, but the A's are V's. <laughs> Great. <laughs> yep. Thank you for being my guest. Appreciate it. Thank you um, so much. This was very fun and enlightening. I like this one. It's thank you. Very cool combo. Um, where else? If, we're, if, I'm, if I'm a fan and I fucked up, I didn't see you at Exotica this weekend, are you going to be anywhere else signing in the future that you know about? Oh, okay. True. So I will most likely be at the Exotica in D.C. in the beginning of December. Great. I'm going to be there at least maybe with a booth. Um, but the next big event is that I'm doing my second feature performance at um, a Sapphire Times Square. No shit. When's on that? On December 1st. December 1st? Yes. Ooh, which pump is a that? Thursday because it's my first time in there um, in the Times Square location. So that's me really if exciting. If you need a Wrangler, what? sell your DVDs and merch. If you need a Wrangler, I'm, I'm offering my services. Sell your DVDs and stuff while you're on stage and yes. like try to sell your, sell your dances. You want to be my roadie? Yeah, 100%. <laughs> yeah, 100%. Yes, yeah, so I'll have all of that stuff. And I do have a couple DVDs coming out this Dope. this year already. I think by the time that it's the new year, um, I will have at least one, maybe two, which is pretty cool. Yeah. I'm on DVDs it's now. Huge. It's huge. I have my first DVD came out it's huge. Um, in... I think September. Yeah, you just. It was the evil. It was with uh, Francesca Lee and Mark Wood. Oh wow! And it was just so awesome to see that. So I have another one with Evil Angel coming out. Great. With Pat Mine, and I think one more. And then you just (laughs) and then you just roll up with a with a wheelie cart with just DVDs in it. That's yeah, that's that's really cool, right? Yeah. See, so people haven't really been buying the DVDs. Okay. Like this weekend. Yeah. I think it's just because it's like a lot going on. And I think we don't know necessarily. Do people watch DVDs? I don't know. I think that's the thing. I'm just happy I got to buy some. So yeah. I can at least keep them for myself I before DVD players go extinct. <laughs> 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 well, and that's well, t- uh, a thing I've been noticing at the convention is that um, a bunch of people have like like vintage like Playboy and stuff, and that's been like a big seller because ha- like that would be every so time cool. something tr- like transitions out. Yeah. Um, we yeah. should just put your DVD on VHS just for like a fun thing. That would be fun. <laughs> that's cool. I'm gonna think about that. That and would then be fun. And then you should US USB first, it. At my first feature, I actually took Polaroid pictures with yeah. all my fans. I like that yeah, shit no, so it's when good. i sell an item like panties i add polaroids of me like wearing them or, great. or something it's i like the old stuff and a like one of that. a kind thing and that's yeah. a sapphire thing you should I do 100 like percent yes yeah. i like doing that yeah. stuff 100 yeah. percent. yeah cool thank you for yeah. being here thank you you're fantastic <laughs> thank uh, check you. out all of her stuff uh buy her porn keep her in this business <laughs> thank, you. thank you so much